All right, I'll take one. Now go sell your candy to everyone else, stupid. Hey, 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 you can't call a kid stupid. What if he's really stupid? Terry, this is Sam, my little brother from Brooklyn's Big Brothers. I think it's funny when she calls me stupid. No one cares, stupid. Screw you, Rosa. Sam's selling candy to pay for his basketball uniforms. He's a forward. I taught him how to elbow. Cool. Now, go home and do all your homework or I will end you. Don't let Rosa fool you. She's not that scary. She used to do ballet. No way. Which gave me the physical skills I need to strangle you with my feet. Now scram. I love being a mentor. Yes, your friend Sam is here. Nice, that little dumb dumb finishes homework early. Where is he? Before I answer, maybe we could brew a pot of nice, relaxing kava tea and then- Spit it out. Sam was brought in for shoplifting a phone. I also have chamomile, that might calm us down. Oh, if you want calm, there's some lewds in evidence. If anybody would ever let me get them out. Hey, what were you thinking? I made a mistake. The phones were just lying there and I didn't think things through. I'm sorry, Rosa. Rosa is your friend from before you were a criminal. You are dealing with Detective Diaz now, and she is gonna make sure you rot in juvie for the rest of your life. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can I talk to you for a minute? Feels like you're being a little harsh. Thanks. Good note. I was going for extremely harsh. I'll turn it up. Diaz, he's just a kid. Can't you just let him off with a warning? Sometimes being as tough as possible doesn't lead to the best outcome. This isn't Cagney calling Lacey a poopy head. I'm not just gonna give him a time out. Time out? Are you kidding? Poopy head means no Doc McStuffins for a week. Terry hates bathroom talk. Hey, I've been looking for you. Before you decide what to do with Sam, there's someone I think you should talk to. Miss Miriam. Surprise! I tracked down your old ballet coach. I brought her in to remind you of the effect a kind, nurturing presence can have on a young life. Hello, dear. Have you continued to dance? No, Miss Miriam. Well, there's no surprise in that. You always were a lazy ox. What's this now? Look at your posture. You look as if you should be ringing the bells at Notre Dame. <laughs> Miss Miriam was not nurturing at all. All right, ox. Let's see what you've got. Five, six, seven, eight. Eyes up. Shoulders down. Well, that wasn't terrible. See, Serge? Tough love works. Damn it. Terry proved the wrong point. So I took care of Sam. Uh-oh. That sounds ominous. Like you went all Miss Miriam on her. I let him off with a warning. See, the thing about Miss Miriam is she made me a good dancer, but she ruined my childhood. She was constantly writing me about my posture and my technique and my pink hair. Pink hair. Never speak of that. Copy. She's the reason I quit ballet. I sure as hell don't want Sam to quit the Big Brother program because of me. This is totally how I thought this Miss Miriam thing was going to go. <laughs> Another flawless Terry plant. 